Aoife for Women's Health Dublin.ie. In this video, we're going to talk about postures. Last year, I attended an inspiring course by Joanne Efston all about the art of human movement and how we can adopt good posture in different positions. So thinking of our bell analogy, which is what I use with all my patients to try and help them to find the perfect posture. So if we think of our pelvis, above it we have our ribcage and diaphragm. If our ribcage and diaphragm are a bell or even our pelvis is a bell, we want them to line up over each other. So we want to aim for our clapper, which is the thing inside the bell that makes all the digging noises, to come straight down between our sit bones so the muscles on the sides, the back and the front of our core are working equally to sustain good posture and help our spine and pelvis. So if we think of this in a sitting posture, this is my bell. What's going to happen when I tilt to the left? My clapper is going to come over to the left, create compression and tension on the left side of my back and side. Same if I lean to the right. So if I'm on the couch, curled up leaning to that right side, or sitting on my mouse, leaning into that right side all the time. Thinking about front and back now, if we really round our back and let our clapper fall forward, we're going to create tension more at the front and lengthening of our spine muscles. Or if we think shoulders back, arch, arch, we're going to get our bell to come back here and create tension in the spine. So this is often a thing people think is good posture. They stick their shoulders back, then they, their back muscles get tired and they come back right into this front be rounded posture. So we want our bell to sit in the middle, hanging between our sit bones as we sit, so that there's no tilt either way. And then our tummy muscles and our back muscles and our side muscles can work equally and also maintain a good tall spine and alignment using the core. If we transfer this into standing or heavy lifting exercises, such as lifting a baby, we want to think of the bell the same way. So when women are pregnant and even after pregnancy, we can tend to go into this sway back posture where we leave our bell back up or back here in our back. Our tummy muscles don't work very well and we put a lot more pressure through the back and we get back pain and pelvic girdle pain. Also, we can end up leaning to one side through the hips, carrying babies on the side, um, and then creating tension into one side and weakness on the other. Or we can come into that really bad posture, pushing the buggies, lose our bum completely and everything goes forward where our muscles aren't really helping to sustain us. So if we think about this bell again over the pelvis, we want our um, rib cage to sit directly over our pelvic bones so all these muscles are working equally and none are more tense or weak on any side. And then when we go to lift, or carry things, we want to keep our bell in this position as we lift down, using our legs and our hips so that we keep our bell and our tummy works well to help support our spine as we lift. I hope you found this video helpful in your quest for the perfect posture. I'm Aoife, this is Women's Health Dublin. .ie.